Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. As you can see, I've completed the old expedition. I've got a whole playlist on how I went about doing that. I'll put it up there. Yes, there's a video for each phase. If you're stopping a phase, it's up the relevant video. Right, anyway, now that I've completed this, I'm going to be heading over to the console, choosing the items to take back with me, and uh, ending off this expedition. Now, I'm making sure that I've got that ship, the really cool ship, set as my primary ship when I'm doing this. That way I can claim the ship over and over again. And I'm wondering whether I might be able to scrap it. However, I'm not too sure what type of ship this is. Authenticated starship. It, I don't know. I want to know whether if I break it down, whether I can build another one and recolor it for those that want to have a different colour scheme. But there you go. Anyways, let's hit up this terminal then. Now, I've got to be very careful in the way that I go about doing this. So, before I end off, I need to put out all the stuff that I want to keep inside of here. Now, some of the things that I definitely want to give a go is this elixir of water. I want to see whether they still work inside of game. I want to see if I can pop little mini boss fights. So that's a definite. The other one that I want is also the Quicksilver one. Not the elixir of glass, because I don't think we're going to see those guys for quite some time. You know, those little squiddy octopusy things. I want that as well. It's a cursed object. I want to clone the heck out of that, duplicate it, and uh, maybe give them out to people inside of the Nexus. Yeah, so the Halloween, why not? And also, if those if those vials of water work, I wouldn't mind giving those out as well, so people can do boss fights that haven't done the expedition, perhaps. Right, though, so what else is a definite that I want to take? It's the, the vial of Quicksilver. Where is it? Is it inside my ship? Oh, of course, a, I've got to get the stuff one second. I need the actual vial of Quicksilver. Can I create one inside of my exosuit? I don't need many. But yeah, the vial of Quicksilver. Where is it? Quicksilver. No, I haven't got... Oh, the chromatic metal is still on my rod, isn't it? So let's see if I can get the rod. Let's take that bait off. There we go. I might be able to just craft a few. Rather than have to worry about changing ship. There we go. How many can I make? I can make two. All right, well, I can duplicate it when I get back, so that's not a problem. All right, cool. Well, I'll carry on, and I'll let you know what else I think I need to pick up. Okay, Jumps, well, that's everything. Now, I did bring a, one of the purple ones and also one of the red ones as well. I brought them along mainly because I'm worried I might have blank spaces inside of my catalogue if I don't. But, you know, there we go. Let's hit End Expedition then. Let's see what happens. And accept, I guess. There we go. And we're getting all the clocking up. Love all this bit, I guess. God, yeah. That's going to probably make me a bit bigger on the screen. I don't think it's going to intrude on anything there. That looks pretty darn sweet, doesn't it? Got. Of course, we're going to get a load of nanites, extra quicksilver, all that sort of shenanigans. Now, I have just done a video on some data mining that says that we might be getting cloud saves in the very near future. And if we do get cloud saves, I could just get my legacy save from my PlayStation and bring it over to my PC. Which means, you know, all of this that I'm doing on PC could go out the window, but you know, it's still fun doing it, isn't it? There you go, done! Yeah, oh, got 256 Quicksilver, 9,900 nanites. Brilliant. And it's loaded me back into game. Thank you. Okay, chums, now I've got a little bit of a problem. Okay, I've got quite a lot of ships. In fact, I, my whole ship repertoire is full. I have that ship, which actually I don't mind scrapping. All right, well, that, that wasn't a hard problem. <laughs> um, I was worried that I wouldn't have a ship that I'd want to scrap. But that ship used to be red and white and black. And as you can see, it's gone freaking green. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go scrap this. Yeah, we'll go scrap this one. All right, well, I'll be right back, but because because before I can claim a ship, I need to go scrap this one. I need to make room. All right, there's nothing inside of its inventory that I really want to keep or anything either. So I'm going to go scrap this ship. One second. I might change my head back, because this head's just freaking weird, doesn't it? But anyway, let's head on over here. And let's go scrap that ship. Okay, here we go. Scrappity scrap scrap. Yes, begin Salvia Achanalysis! Yeah, scrap it. I'm not bothered about extracting components. Yeah, just give me the, the stuff. Lovely. 
that ship's gone. I've now got a free space. Which ship is it going to put on the landing pad? Um. Oh, okay. This isn't my PlayStation save. <laughs> I've got a load of ships that I don't really care about on this save, haven't I? Okay, I've got a few that... I've got some right ugly ships. All right, well, I'm just going to do a load of scrapping. I'll be right back with you when I've scrapped all the ships I don't like. Okay, it's chums when I'm back. There you go. I'm a starborn runner. I've got a fair few of the expedition ships now, but... This is my PC save, so I haven't got many ships I overly care about in here. Let's go on in then. And let's just make sure that I take everything out of here. We'll be doing a test in a bit to see if you can actually fight the bosses outside of the expedition. Right, so I'm just going to take all this out and I'll be right back. Okay, now first of all, I'm just going to hit Create Starship. Copy the Boundary Herald. Let's get that. Okay. Copy! I guess. And that should have given me a Boundary Herald. I'm just going to fly it into the actual station. And I'm going to see if I can scrap it. Now, I should be able to claim as many of these as I want until I run out of nanites. So, it won't be much of an issue if I scrap it and don't. Oh. Well, we've got a new subscriber. Thank you, Lark Shan. Thank you. Okay, so I am trying to get that snazzy YouTube plaque. I'm on 46,000 subscribers. We're nearly halfway there to the 100,000. If you can help me hit 50, that'd be freaking great, people. Smash that subscribe. If you've already done that, just share the video. Right, okay, let's head on over and let's try and scrapping this ship. Okay, right, so we're at the scrapping console. Let's see how we get on then. Okay, begin salvage analysis. Oh, I did not expect this. Extract, customize, and seriously? You can, you can salvage it, people. But what the? Okay, salvage the hull. All right, cool. Right, well, I'll go and claim two more of them and we'll do the same thing and claim all the other parts. Okay, what ship are you going to give me? Lovely, I've got my Starborn Runner. I'll be right back after I've done the next two parts. Just thinking about it, people, I've got a couple of ship slots. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to claim two now. Oh, okay, here we go. Then. So create another one. Copy. Sweet. And another one. Copy. Okay, I think I've got two of them. There's one right there. I should have a secondary one as well. So let's fly on over. I claimed the hull last time, so we'll do the wings or whatever. Okay, well, this is a bit of a surprise. Well, I could make an all-black one. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Okay, here we go then. So let's um, get into salvage analysis then. Extract, customize the original module. We've done the hull. This time we're going to do the left wing. Sweet. I didn't see it pop up there. And the weird thing is, I I can't find the component inside of my inventory. So I'm, I'm getting a little bit nervous. But anyway, here's the next one. Let's do that one as well then. <laughs> and let's claim the last ring, which is the right one, isn't it? Yeah, right wing. Sweet. There we go. Right, now I need to get myself an engine for it, don't I? So where's the ship guy? Is this the ship guy? Yes. Hello, ship guy. I need to get an engine. Purchase modules. I uh, like an S-Class one. Thank you very much. And let's go and build a ship. Is this going to work? It's not really a fighter, is it? It's not really a horse. What does it fit under? All right, let's just let's just see if it comes up with the parts. Uh, this might be a problem because I don't think it's that. All right. It's not a hauler. Well, what's it blinking class as? I'm just going to go through all of them. So it let me scrap it, but it's not let me build it. 
All right, people. And to add to the confusion, all the parts that I scrapped aren't appearing inside of my exosuit, for as far as I can tell. I mean, my exosuit's a freaking mess. But yeah, I'm not finding the parts. It lets you scrap it. Don't know where the parts went. No idea. So right now, I wouldn't scrap it, even though it lets you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to have one more look through this menu. I'm not going to take up your time, but there we go. Here it jumps now. The fact that it lets you scrap the ships, but it doesn't let you build the ships, to me makes me wonder whether they might be looking at maybe reworking how you actually fabricate and build ships. Maybe when it comes to these custom ships. Can only but wait and see. It feels like Hello Games have slowly trickled stuff out to us, but not only overly delivered stuff in. Anyway, I've got to check those canisters in a bit, but first I'm just going to go and collect some rewards from Johnny Five. So here we go. And we're going to go to Collect Expedition Rewards, and I'm going to get the Boundary Herald. Yes, we'll have that, thank you, and I'm not scrapping that one. Claim it for free. Yeah. And collect expedition rewards. We can get the glowing egg. And get the anomaly seal. Get all these bits as well. Sweet. I've already got an iron vulture, so there we go. That'd do me anyway. Cool. We might as well hatch that egg. There it is. My register's full. Alright, well I'll sort that out some other time. We will check to see if that quicksilver capsule works. And we'll see if we can fight against those jellyfish bosses, shall we? Let's fly on out. Let's see if we can find a portal super quick using that Quicksilver elixir. That'd be so cool. You know, to find a portal now, you have to go and find a monolith, which you're going to need, you know, freaking chart maps for, or a scanner installed in, in summing. Yeah, so this is going to be a lot quicker if this works. Okay, Quicksilver. There it is right there. Has it worked? It's, it's worked! We've got a portal right away! Okay, right, well I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be duplicating the fudge out of that. Come on, let's go down. Let's just doubly make sure that there's definitely a portal there. Wow! Yes, it worked! Okay, cool. Well, if that one works, let's hope that we can fight these jellyfish monsters. Right, make sure I've got some a decent weapon. Yep. Train manipulator, runic lens, train manipulator. What the much multi tool is this? Okay, uh, let's go for that one then. Scatter blaster, neutron cannon. That might be good. How powerful is this multi tool? No, it's not bad. All right, okay, cool. That'll do then. Okay, let's um, go into the old exosuit and let's pop one of these. Ah, it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Damn it. Well, there you go, people. You can't fight those jellyfish. Let's just pop one more just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The elixirs don't do anything at the moment outside of the actual expedition. But the, um, the Quicksilver one does. It helps you find portals still. So that's a hooray and hurrah. So there's a couple of janky things, namely scrapping your ships. Yeah, don't don't scrap your ship uh, because there's no way to reassemble it that I can see. If you've worked out how to do it, let me know inside the actual comments. Not including PC saves, mods, or any of that sort of shenanigans. Something that's going to work across all platforms. If you manage to work out how to do it, let me know. Um, other than that, it looks like the way to find portal super quick works quite nicely. Um, but that's it. That's it, basically, people. I think I've done all the testing I can do after everything that we've just done. So there we go, peeps. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.